This is Kajiado in Kenya's Rift Valley. People here say wildlife pose a real and constant danger to human life. They cite crop raiding and damage to property as examples. It's really a problem. Every year lions eat cattle, hyenas eat sheep, and sometimes goats are bitten by snakes. When the buffaloes migrate here to breed, there is no grass left for our cattle to graze. There are so many issues. One woman recently came across a buffalo and was attacked. The animals give us so many problems. Communities living in Kajiado are some of the worst affected due to their proximity to the Nairobi and Amboseli National Parks. Conservationists say that working on transport projects aimed at developing the Kenyan capital is affecting animal behavior and leading to increased incidents of wildlife leaving the park in search of quieter hunting grounds. This year, there have been at least three incidents where lions have strayed from the reserve into residential estates in Nairobi. In the human wildlife conflicts, uh, we have lo people have died, animals have also died, some people also killed the wildlife. Whenever people kill the wildlife, the lions and others, cheetahs, people are usually arrested. But when we lose our animals, there is no compensation. We have not, we are yet to see anybody who has ever received compensation from the government for losing their animals to, or even their lives to wildlife. Some of the proposals put forward by African countries at the recent CITES conference include the practice of conservation hunting to deter poachers and curb human wildlife conflict. When you have got an increase in animals, you end up having an overabundance of certain species in certain areas, which naturally would then spill over into the communities where people are living and hence the issue of human-wildlife conflict. And hunting is one way of controlling um, those numbers because what we are doing is conservation hunting. But some conservationists believe the practice is unethical and won't help to solve the problem. Well, the wildlife of Africa is clearly one of the greatest wealths of this continent. Uh, and what CITES is trying to do is really to ensure that wildlife populations are sustained because they have economic value, because they, uh, if they're overused, they can lead to severe poverty and actually security problems. It may take years, but regulated hunting may be the solution to maintaining healthy wildlife populations. Tuli Shabalala. CCTV.